What's going on everybody? It has been a minute, but I haven't really bought anything for the truck, so I got a couple mods. They're coming. They're coming. They're on the way. We're en route to the mountain bike trail. I'm going to get in a quick little 16, 17 mile session. I'll take some video for you guys. Anyways, we're posted up at the mountain bike trail. We're gonna go do a little shred fest. I'll take a little video. And then hopefully here in a little bit, then parts will get delivered and we're gonna install them. That concludes our little bike session, and I have secured Wrigley. Hey, Wrigley. We have secured the Wrigley. Let me get my lunch, and then we're gonna stop home and install these pieces. It'll take a solid two seconds, besides the one piece that I'm almost sure I'm gonna have to modify to make it to work, if I can. So the first thing up, the carbon fiber shifter. They're just 3M adhesives. Let's get that bad boy on. <clears throat> Not too bad. Buttons all work. I didn't need adhesive it yet. I just stuck it on there. Now... Let's get piece number two open. So these pieces here are gonna go on the steering wheel, but I don't think they're gonna fit correct. Let's see what we got going here. It goes right there. So see, that's the problem. Is it covers part of this button. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. Let's get this other piece open. So, I almost wonder these little pieces right here. I don't know if you can see that. If I just heat these up and bend it out, same on on this side too. It just needs to come up a little bit to fit right. We're gonna grab the heat gun. This little lip right here, I heated it up, and as, I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of messed with the finish of it, but like, it cracked it some, but it's kind of, it's not really exposed. But I think that's the key. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I can't, it's a lot better fitting now, and the button actually works. So I think once I get it on there, and I get the double-sided tape stuck, I'm gonna reheat it and bend it back. There, so you can see a little mark right there. I kind of heated it too much there. It needed to be, it kind of is what it is, but it's not too horrible. And then the top here was kind of up. So I just heated this section, but I kept my heat gun a pretty good distance and I slowly was able to get it to mold with no issues. Same with down here. It was kind of just sticking weird. I just heated it up and I was able to get it stuck. So you can see it's pretty, it's on there pretty good. This I might do a little more work with as it's overhanging a little. I'll try to put the heat more here and not up here. It's there, it is. I just heated it up and just kind of bent it right up there. So that side is done, all the buttons work. And now we just need to get this side going as it's overhanging right there. Right here is where you can see, just to show you guys, that lip is what we're trying to bend so we can get it just to raise up a little higher. So all I'm doing is I have two settings on my heat gun. 
and I'm just trying to heat up that If you overdo it too much heat, you know, it's going to distort it some, but it is what it is. Okay, I think that's good enough. So let's get this bottom up. So you can see now it's starting to bend out. And we're almost there for fit-wise. I still have the double-sided tape on. Just don't keep heat in one spot too long because then that's when you're going to start to melt it really good. You want to get that corner because that's another spot that's holding you up. Okay, now she's loosened up. She is loosened up. This side's not fitting as good as the other side. I'll tell you that right now. That's about perfect, and I think I can make her work. So right here, see when this is in place perfect with the buttons, I push that down, I have a lot of gap up here. I'll heat this top part and just mold it down. So now let's peel off these pieces, and then we're gonna heat it again. So first, Get that lined up at the very bottom. So now, and when I'm doing it here, I'm keeping my heat gun away so I don't accidentally put too much heat on it and uh, melt the plastic or the finish. But you can see just that right there alone gets, gets it formed. Just start working your way up. See, I kind of melted it just a hair too much right there, but I also bent it there. Just start heating it up. Just keep your gun, you know, a solid four or five inches away from it. So it's pretty much form fitted, just this piece now is curled up, so we need to heat it up and try not to be too crazy with it. See I'm we'll go lower heat. She's melted. She's a melted. That side's not as good. So there we have it. This side just didn't fit as good. I kind of heated it a little too much right there. You guys can see that, but the buttons all work. That's the main thing. This side came out a little better, but I probably should have just been a little more easy going with the heat, but it's is what it is. Maybe I'll get another one of these pieces and redo it. But for right now, it's stuck on there real good. It works. What to say every time I start to slip away And I surrender Okay, so that's the little mini tutorial that I have for you guys on what to do to make it fit. I seen someone actually posted the other day. Someone actually had left a review that they don't fit right and they were mad, but I knew going into this that when I purchased the steering wheel one that it might not fit correctly because it says for a 2009 to 2014 F-150, but it also says SVT and the steering wheel in the picture is definitely the Raptor steering wheel. So I kind of just wondered if it was going to actually fit the same even though it's very similar. So I'm not really that mad about it. I already knew. I, I bought it with the intention that I could possibly return this, but I'm not going to since I heated it and they fit decent. So that fits good. That's legit. It's not bad. And I mean, this one came out a lot better. 
but this one needs you can see it could use heated up a little more and I could do it to where I put the heat I put the heat gun right like here and then I can bend that up but I was just kind of worried since I stressed that right there other than that all the buttons are working it fits good it's staying in place I'd say for 20 bucks that it was worth it but the other thing too to keep in mind there's a lot of carbon fiber stuff on eBay for this truck and many other trucks and vehicles so there's like ones for your vents your doors the side of your seats just don't go overkill with it I think you can definitely do way too much carbon fiber and it's gonna be too cheesy so that's exactly why I had just went with the steering wheel and the shifter I don't know if I'm gonna do anything else I thought about doing the one that goes on this silver just because Wrigley's little punk ass sometimes gets up here, slips and falls, scratches this. So, Wrigley, what do you think about that? Oh, you, here, you want petted? Oh, give me that paw. He doesn't like the camera. He does not like it. So. I might get more carbon fiber, but I don't really know. I don't want to overdo it. I'm, I'm a, I like to keep everything clean and just kind of, kind of cool, kind of minimal. So, and maybe you guys have this piece and you guys found a better way to make it fit correctly. I thought about cutting it, but I think that's going to make it even worse. I think your best bet is to heat it, and maybe I probably just did a little too much heat because I was excited and just wanted to get it bent and put on there. But other than that, I like it. That's, uh, that's all we got for you guys today. We're going to try to see if Wrigley will close it out for you guys with his paw, but he probably won't. Wrigley, close out the video. Give me that. See, he's going to bite me. All right, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.